hello beautiful people and welcome back to my channel for today's video i'm gonna show you my go-to fall breakfast so if you see my previous videos you already know that i'm a huge fan of pumpkin so of course there's gonna be pumpkin in there just keep on watching and i'm gonna show you step by step how to make everything okay so i don't have any more of the pumpkin pancake mix but there is another pancake recipe that i love to make so i'm about to show you i'm going to use this gluten-free pancake mix or it's like a baking mix but i use it for pancakes i honestly use it for anything so i'm about to show you what you're gonna need and i promise you these pancakes are amazing okay so for this recipe you're gonna need a banana, milk, an egg, the flour mix from earlier, and some butter. So I like to start off with the banana. First gonna open it up. Oh, you're also gonna need um, cinnamon, and just because it's fall, I'm gonna also add some pumpkin pie spice. So, I start off by putting the banana in a bowl. After that, I'm gonna go ahead and make sure it's well smushed. I don't like like big banana chunks in on my pancakes, so that's why I like to smush it really, really well. Okay, and then I'm gonna switch the angle just so you could see exactly what I'm doing. Alright, so once the banana looks like this, I'm honestly okay with it. So after this, I like to go ahead and add the egg. And I only put one egg. So I'm going to go ahead and leave it because I'm going to add the flour as well. And honestly, I kind of just eyeball it. I don't really do it by measurements. I think I've been doing like pancakes and waffles for so long that I'm kind of used to eyeballing it now and it always comes out perfect. So I'm gonna go ahead and leave it like that, add some milk and mix it. Once it's all mixed is when I could really see like if it's well or if I do need more. Like right now I could see I need more milk. And little by little I add the milk. I feel like it needs just a tiny bit more and there it's good also gonna be adding that cinnamon I'm not gonna add a lot because I want more of the pumpkin spice this is the pumpkin pie spice okay. And I'm going to add a little bit of coconut palm sugar. Add two spoons. I like to add something to make it a little sweet. Sometimes I add syrup in it, but for this one I'm adding that coconut palm sugar. And honestly, I think it's ready to go. I'm gonna go ahead and heat up the pan 
with some butter and get it on. Okay, so the pan is heating up with the butter. I'm gonna let that get a little bit more hot. And in the meantime, I'm gonna make my coffee. All right, so in my previous videos, I have talked about Pete's coffee. I'm obsessed with Pete's coffee. I have a Keurig and I have the Pete's pods. I honestly go to Costco and buy the huge box of Pete's pods because I love it so much. So I usually do the regular one, but because it's fall, I'm going to do the pumpkin one. The pumpkin one I found at Target. So I already made one and I let it cool, I put it in the freezer, and now I'm going to take it out and prepare it. Okay, so in here is my coffee that already went ahead and cooled in the freezer. I'm going to use two extra cups. This cup is for the coffee and this cup is just to make that cold foam on top. So I'm going to go ahead and make the cold foam first. Usually how I start it, just pour in some of that and right about there is good after that after it's about like right here even though it looks like it's a little bit honestly it builds so it's a good size so after that i'm gonna go in with the cane sugar and i'm gonna put like two spoons of that okay and then before I forget I'm gonna go in with the coconut palm sugar and that one I'm putting in the coffee and I'm also gonna put two spoons of that okay. after that I'm gonna go ahead and froth the milk And already you could see it definitely built. Alright. I'm going to go ahead and mix the coffee now. Got a little frozen at the top. Okay, after that, I'm going to go ahead and pour it to the cup carefully or not that carefully because I always make a mess. Literally, me trying to do anything is like this. <laughs> okay, I'm going to go ahead and clean up that mess. And then after that, before I add on the cream... I'm going to add on some more ice. And I'm saying some more ice because some of the coffee got frozen. So it, it made a little bit of a coffee ice in there too. So I think about there is good. And then I'm going to go ahead and add the cream. This is my favorite part. And I think I'm going to stop there. I think this is actually my favorite part. <laughs> Alright. And actually, I think I'm going to add some whipped cream in there. This is my favorite, favorite, favorite whipped cream. I have some pumpkin spice one, but I don't know why. I don't really like it. I prefer this one. Alright. And then 
I'm gonna add some pumpkin pie spice. I love it when they're that color. I don't know why. I don't like them to be like burnt burnt, but I don't like them to be like not with this part. I want it to be with that part. It's so, so good. Okay, and I think I'm gonna go ahead and make another pancake. Oh. The whipped cream is literally falling off. But this turned out so good. I'm like in love with strong coffee, so this is perfect. I feel like the only thing we would be missing is the batons. And it's the last one. So I'm gonna go ahead and just finish it. Also, it's a little broken, but that's okay. They're still very delicious. So one time, when I went to Rosarito, we stopped by a Starbucks and they we're selling these. I guess you could put it in your... At that time, I was obsessed with Frappuccinos. And you could get some of these on your drink. It would be a little, like, extra. But then again, like, over there, things are... Honestly, they're not that bad a price. So, I was willing to get it. Like, I was like, yeah, I want it. I'll pay the extra. That's fine. And my Frappuccino, this was so good. I wish that the Starbucks here did that because that's the only Starbucks I've ever been to where they would sell these and you could add it onto your coffee. Like they literally will ask you if you want it, if they, if you want them to add it to your coffee. And of course I said yes because I'm obsessed with these. It is 11 o'clock right now. This is honestly when I eat breakfast and it's not because I wake up late because I woke up today at five it's mostly because i fast that i eat my breakfast late even though people fast and they just skip breakfast i don't think i could do that i'm love love breakfast so i don't think i would ever want to skip it <laughs> it feels weird like it definitely definitely feels weird because it's like it's already late it's basically lunch but I don't know it just I feel like if I were to skip breakfast like that just starts my day off bad I know that sounds dramatic but I feel like a good good breakfast starts my day off really really well like, there's days where I have to rush breakfast and literally eat something small or something that's like whatever to me. And there's days where I have more time and I could just go all out on my breakfast. Okay, toppings. Sometimes I add fruit. But I'm not going to add fruit this time because there's banana in there already. So I'm just gonna do syrup and butter. I'm gonna go ahead and get that right now. The syrup, if you have not tried it, I definitely recommend this syrup. So good. I honestly I think I'm on like my fifth bottle already because we eat pancakes here pretty often. We used to do waffles a lot more, but pancakes are honestly a lot easier to make and Sometimes I am in a rush that I don't have time to make waffles and I just make pancakes really quick. Okay, they are ready and they smell so, so good. So I'm eating two, like, I guess, medium-sized pancakes. 
I call them medium size because my mom likes to make like these big, big pancakes. And she usually likes to make them so that she doesn't have to make another one and you're full with one. But I don't know why. I don't like, I don't like that. Like, I don't like how that looks. I like to stack my pancakes or like to be able to stack my pancakes. So that's why I either make them smaller or like medium, but I never make them huge. All right. I added the butter and now the syrup. And look at this syrup because I know most syrups that, at least the syrups that I've used in the past, they're very, very thick. And this one is not. This is an organic syrup. And it tastes so, so good. Okay. I'm so excited i'm gonna go ahead and set up the table and bring you with me all right and i'm gonna wrap up this video because i'm gonna enjoy my breakfast and watch some videos so thank you all for watching and remember to like comment share and subscribe and if you haven't already checked out my description down below i have my boyfriend's youtube channel linked and i have my couple's channel linked as well definitely go subscribe to both of those if you want your dream body he will help you and if you want to have a laugh go ahead and watch our couples channel and and like i said earlier thank you all for watching and i will see all of you beautiful people in the next one bye